Two tight ends. Here's Leard. Going to hand it off to Johnson. Cuts to the outside. Got his first down and more. He's speeding to the 30. He's at the 20, 15, the 10, the 5. Shakes off a tackle. He's gone. Touchdown, Auburn. Miller looking to throw. Fires downfield. It is intercepted. Auburn at the 40-yard line. And down is Courtney Rose at the 37. It's over. and It was fun. I appreciate all the Auburn people coming to the game last night. What a great turnout. Wearing their orange. Uh, the way the players played and reacted, and gave it all they had on the field, and the best team won the game. We uh, we dominated, I think, for about about three quarters. We we had some lapses. We made a lot of mistakes, but a young team's going to do that. But the great thing about it is we went back to the plate and took our bat again and made up for it, and, and uh, that's how you build character. I know you're proud of the offense, of course, the, the the way they played, but the defense put it together in the fourth quarter and, and, and held the line. I think a big key feel to the, to the entire game was we played a lot of players. John Lovett and his staff kept substituting, putting guys in the game, trying to keep them fresh. It was a hot night, very muggy. And we had guys that would go in and play for three plays. When they'd come out, they'd be totally exhausted. They lost their fluids. And, and, uh, but that happened. But when we played those players, I thought we got stronger in the fourth quarter. And as you heard me talking at the beginning of the show, uh, Coach Kevin Yoxel and his staff did a tremendous job in the weight room and conditioning. And, uh, Football rivals are born in the South with all the emotions surrounding this game, the first conference clash, and of course this man. Coach, you took this field for the first time in two years, a few, min a two, a few minutes ago, pumping your fist. You knew the moment had to come. What were you thinking? Well, it's, it's been a long two years since the great times we had here at Ole Miss, but uh, had a few emotional moments when I first walked on the field two hours ago, but I'm an Auburn Tiger now. Coach, it's not just you, but your seven assistants that you took with you from Ole Miss who have come back, and two administrative assistants, the last word to them and to your players. Well, we're going to have to play hard, and we're going to have to play for 60 minutes because uh, they got a great football team and some great players, and we've got to play a lot more consistent than we did last week. Coach, thanks very much for taking the time. Good luck tonight. Right a reminder, Coach Tobeville is well protected by Alabama State Troopers. All negative comments he could have heard, obviously drowned out down in this corner, his tunnel by the Auburn fans. Could be much ado about nothing. Robinson along with Carter, two speedsters back deep. And we're underway. This one is returnable. Robinson, 20, picks it open at the 30, at the 40, and is tackled from behind at the 47 yard line. The same thing tonight. He sure got great field position. From the shotgun, they swing it out. And that is to Carter, turns the corner. Here comes a flat down, and we may have a clip on the play. You see the blitz coming in the middle, quick pass. And there's the tight end Ziegler, but a nice open field tackle by Larry Casher, number 24. Again. And, and the 30, here's McAllister, tries to break it out, he does. The deuce is loose, has five, has ten, cut it off at 16 and now 17 yards as Lincoln saved a touchdown. On this, two wide receivers to either side. Miller got a man wide open over the middle, got him for the touchdown, and it's heard. And obviously, he's still learning. Here they come with a handoff to Carter. They get him outside. 35 at the 40, still down the sideline, and he's loose. He did not. Yes, he did. There's a flag down at the 38 yard line as he will take it the distance, 72 yards. And on the near sideline, the Ole Miss players signaling, bring it back. And now another flag has been thrown in the end zone. I think this one is against Ole Miss. But Tim Carter shows you his speed. 10-3 in the 100 meters, 4-2-40. Auburn coaches talked all week about getting the ball in his hands, and uh, this one's going to come back. A fine run by Tim Carter. Run by Carter. They say he could be the fastest receiver in the conference. They think he's the most talented player on this football team, which says a lot. Auburn from their own 44-yard line. This time, passes the 50 inside the 45, and he's down near the 44. Senator Taylor had to come up and take his legs out from under him. It's good for 13. Laird from the shotgun. Got a 
man wide open. At the 20-yard line, that's Johnson. Somebody blew a coverage on the running back, and he goes inside the 15 and down to the 12. It's good for 29 yards. Kevin Thomas on the tackle. Ron, what, what Auburn's doing is the same thing that uh, Ole Miss did with uh, Deuce. They bring Rudy Johnson out, but this was a quick screen, fake quick screen that they're going to try to throw here. Here's what's going to happen right now as the snap comes. Two times for the Auburn Tigers. He gets the ball. Evans right up the middle. Breaks it inside the five, and he's down to the three. Jesse Mitchell took his feet out from under him, but Heath Evans, who is six feet, 250 pounds, proves he not only is a good blocker, he is a tough runner to bring down. Laird straight ahead with the quarterback sneak. Touchdown, Auburn. Eight plays, 75 yards behind the center, Ben Nowlin. Last week against Wyoming, he kicked it out of the end zone, and here's an onside kick. He was loose and wide. sideline because they have missed a lot of tackles. And what's happening here, Ron, is you look at the two receivers right out here. DeAndre Green, they're giving him too much of a cushion. You get one decent block, and all of a sudden he's 10 yards down the field. DeAndre Green with a good reception, a good run after the catch. But that's what happens when you're running the ball so well. Then all of a sudden you give away to a touchdown lead. Well, the onside kick, what that does to your football team, it tells you you're attacking. You're after the opponent. And uh, I like to call. It results in seven points. Damon Duvall with the extra point try. goes on top 14 to 7 
Yeah, no Mazzoni's going to go to two tight ends now. He's having his way with this front, the offensive line. Watch them come off the ball. And now you see the little hole cutback lane right there for Rudy Johnson because they're getting movement off the ball. They're knocking the defensive front off the football. Here comes the blitz. Gets his pass away. Good for 39 yards, and Auburn right now chewing up huge chunks of real estate. Anytime your corners are going to go up there and press the wide receiver, whatever the route is, the outside route, it turns into a fade. Marcel Willis with a good catch against Justin Coleman. Now they're trying Coleman. They're staying away from the other corner, Ken Lucas. Boy, a great concentration on that play by Marcel. This last one will see if it cost him a, a touchdown. Johnson bounces it outside. Going to have about six, maybe seven yards. And give it to him. He finishes the fullback, and he will score. Football tonight halftime report. Let's rejoin Reese Davis. Have yards in your opening conference game, not a good way to start. No, and I'm sure they're going to make some adjustments in that front in the second half. Going to throw again, going on top this time, and he has his man. That is her. Three times they've run that play with Carter right up the middle. Heath Evans breaks it big out over the 35, and he's going to be tackled at the 37 by Thomas. Faked it to McAllister. Going to go on top. And over to it, intercepted. That's Creighton. And Creighton is going to be tackled at the 27. Turnover for turnover. And Romero Miller upset with himself because that one was well overthrown. Yeah, they're trying to get the ball to L.J. Taylor, number 14, and uh, way overthrown. Good draw fake. Gets turned around, trying to get the ball to number 14, L.J. Taylor. You can see the high Pitch it back to Rudy Johnson, and he is able to turn the corner and will take it over the 30 to around the 33. Laird to throw, and he has it complete. Worthy, and he'll take it out to the 44-yard line. High wobbly kick, McAllister on the run at the 13. There is gone. Damon Duvall will not catch it. The Goose, 87 yards. The question is now with that student was Franklin. We're going to have to ask Mike or ask Locke about that. That won't take very long. That time the defense steps up and hits Joe Gunn in the back. So he didn't touch and get the pass interference goal. the middle and that's DeAndre Green the big freshman from Pritchard Alabama was suspended the first week of the season in the Wyoming game so he didn't play Ken Lucas on the coverage I would still continue to try to get the ball to Ronnie Daniels and he gets it and he bounces outside and he is loose the 20 15 10 
loses the football. Was he down? Down. Walker is the man who made the stop. But again, particularly when they're inside the 20, Auburn's virtually got everybody at the line of scrimmage. They're, they're going to stop the run. Creighton and Casher. Laird from the shotgun. Got him wide open. That's worthy. Inside the 15, gets smacked down hard by Lucas, but it'll be first down Auburn after a gain of 13. 27. He will be tackled just inside the 40-yard line. Tober with the pressure, but Romero just appeared to throw it directly to the defender. Miller looks... I mean, he's trying to get the ball to Hurd on the post, but... Just no air under the pass. No. No, they don't think he got anything under the ball. For 64. So Auburn gets the first down of the penalty, and here's Rudy Johnson. Breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage, breaks another tackle, and he is inside the 10 and down to around the six-yard line. Rudy Johnson tries to turn the corner, and on a second effort, he may have gotten that first down. So to, uh, to Evans. Now I think throwbacks do. Follows in now. That's what they do, and it's a first down. The Sims will be credited with the tackle. To see him score here so he can get the ball back. And he did it. Straight ahead and touchdown Auburn. Behind the blocking of Nallen. Seconds left in the ball game. Miller's pass is intercepted. Stanford Simmons. Three times he's been picked off tonight, and he just let it get away from him. Threw it way too high. Been high on a couple throws tonight trying to get the ball to L.J. Taylor. Three interceptions tonight for Merrill Miller and uh, just... Two and one, and it's history. So our final score is Auburn 35 and Ole Miss 27. Coming up next, it's Illinois and San Diego State. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader.